If the universe is everything we could measure, and the cosmos includes unknown dimensions, multiverses, and phenomena, the integral cosmos is not limited to the objective or physical, and includes consciousness, culture, dreams, spirit, and internal perspectives. A cosmos-centric view pairs well with Richard Dawkins' concept of mimetics, that ideas exhibit evolutionary mechanics. We are all familiar with biological evolution, whereby creatures genetically mutate by boning and dodging. For many people, this satisfies their curiosity concerning how molecules become people. But there is a missing link in this puzzle. We understand how matter forms planets and creatures transform, but we also find a staggering coincidence at play. That matter becomes life and life becomes civilization and consciousness becomes ever more self-aware. Dawkins and Darwin as scientists, not philosophers, do not explain how the cosmos is ever manifesting greater consciousness, organization, and complexity at an accelerating rate. Systems theory again satisfies the transformative mechanism, but leaves us scratching our heads as to why the cosmos always finds the route to unprecedented novelty, why stardust or dirty wet molecules from the very beginning had it in them to dance and sing. I would have never guessed. A term like intelligent design may be loaded, forcefully presumptive, and anthropomorphic, but we clearly see a teleology to the cosmos, a desire to wake up, grow up, and love deeply against all obstacles.